a 99 E300 turbo diesel. Straight vegetable oil, waste vegetable oil. Switch right there goes from diesel to vegetable oil. Uh, you go down here, it turns the pump on and the heater uh, to heat the oil up and thin it out. Makes no difference in power, really, that I found out. Burns about the same. They say there is a 10 to 20 percent deficiency, but uh, I just don't. I just don't notice it. Okay, here's how it works. You have your oil in here comes through here you've got a boost pump it's about 2 to 7 psi pulls around 2 amps just routes around here goes into the copper hard pipe that goes underneath the car all the way down that's it right there runs all the way down here's the copper pipe that runs up half inch back down to 3 eighths have a a fuel water separator have the radiator hose going around here to warm it up and then it returns to the heater core so it comes in through here goes in here and filters out this is the thermostat um, to our temp gauge I'm sorry and then you'll see it's it's nice and cool now the car has been off for a while routes around here to the solenoid switch you have the diesel tank on this side and then you have your vegetable oil uh, waste vegetable oil on this side it comes in through here goes to a clear tube so I can identify any bubbles that I have in the line when I have to purge it and then there's the original intake coming in through here just like that and then this is your 10 micron uh, stock um, fuel filter for the diesel. Have a 10 amp fuse, and that's it. It's very simple. Very very simple. thing I've done to the intake is just put a, a high flow intake. I'm not sure if I get any more power out of it or not, but it sure sounds awesome. You can actually hear the, uh, the turbo with that. I don't really notice much of a difference at all as I said earlier in the power it, it's just not noticeable although it may be there I um, I just I just don't notice it so um, this is um, 300,000 kilometers this is a Canadian version of the E300 If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask me. Um, the, um, the project is not for someone who's um, not mechanically inclined. You have to really, uh, really know what you're doing or you'll get air in the lines and you'll have to purge out the injectors and it's a pain in the butt. So if you have any questions or any comments, feel free to ask and I will, uh, I'll try to get to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much.